Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're just going to be discussing some tips on how you can break out of your plateau. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to have you here. If you're new, I'm Sam and thank you for joining us. And if you have not hit that little red subscribe button down there below, go ahead and do that and become part of the crew family. So what we're going to be discussing today are just a few tips on how you can break your plateau. Now, you may have noticed that when you get into a lifestyle change or you're doing a diet, no matter what the diet is, you may encounter a plateau or a few plateaus. It's just how your body reacts to um, changes that's going on with how the diet is affecting your body um, and how your body is losing weight. It's not anything bad. Everybody goes through it. And just when you notice a plateau, I'm just going to give you a few tips on how you can break through that plateau. Now, the tips that I have are not hard tips. They're very, very easy tips. And it's something that you can apply to your plateau to help you come out of it. So when you notice a plateau, like I was in a plateau recently, and these are a few tips that I apply to myself. And um, I, was I was able to come out of the plateau rather quickly and knock down those few inches so one of the things that you're probably not doing within your lifestyle is drinking enough water now when your body is going through weight loss your body is flushing out all of the water and all of the minerals so you're going to need to stock up on that water because that's what's going to keep you hydrated and it's what's going to give you a boost of energy so you can knock out your weight loss journey and your exercise routine and it's very important that you get enough water during your weight loss journey and any any day of your life you need to drink water because it's just going to keep you hydrated and it's going to keep all of your insides running efficiently so drink more water and two is upping your salt intake. Now, I'm not talking about table salt, like the iodized table salt or the kosher sea salt that you get from the store. I'm talking about mineral salt. And the three mineral salts that I like are um, pink Himalayan sea salt. I like the Celtic uh, Celtic sea salt and the redmond's real salt those are the three mineral salts that i like to use and incorporate into my meals every day and not only is it going to help your body replace the minerals that you are losing during your weight loss journey it is going to help you beat your keto flu if you have recently started keto and you noticed a plateau you can up your salt intake and that will help you out drastically. Three, this is something that I incorporate into my diet and my lifestyle pretty much every single day. Now I do not drink these every single day because, um, I mean you can, is what they're made for, but I like to drink these when I feel my body getting bloated or um, I find myself in a plateau or I just need a boost of energy I need more clarity and focus um, so I will probably drink these maybe three to four times a week depending on what I'm looking for I may drink um, one in the morning and maybe a coffee at night or vice versa it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. And what I'm talking about is ketones. Now there are many, many brands of ketones out there that you can choose from. 
but I like to give my body the best, so I drink Prove It. They are the world's leading Prove It ketone company in the world, so they have the best exogenous ketones on the market. So I like to incorporate them pretty much every day that I am on my weight loss journey because they do help me so much. Like I said, you can drink these in the morning. I don't recommend you drinking more than a two a day. And if you hear a little click and something running, that's my deep freeze. And I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about that. But I would recommend drinking a half in the morning and half at night. If you want to do that, that's fine. Or you can drink a whole one in the morning and a whole one at night whichever you prefer but however you drink these you can um, get the benefits from that and they will help you flush out all of that water that your body's holding on to and it will help you break out of that plateau if you would like more information on that i will leave the link to my website down below and you can go check that out and another thing that i like to do is um upping my calories now I don't do this often and I only do this when I'm in a plateau so when I find myself in a plateau I will up my calories by two to three hundred calories now I know that might sound drastic but it helps me it might not work for you but I would just like to up my calories two to three hundred just for a couple of days so that way I can go back into that calorie deficit and my body will break out of that plateau. So um, if that's something that you would like to try, you can do that. Um, but if it's something that's not for you, you don't have to try it. There's many other options that you can try. So when I notice myself in a plateau, I will go up in my calories for a couple of days. Um, I don't go overboard with my carbs or my protein or my fats. Um, I kind of stick within that realm, but I do up my calorie intake by two to three hundred calories. Now, what this does is it packs on those calories, and then when you go into your calorie deficit, your body is going to be, you know, it's going to notice that, and it's going to break out of that plateau so you can knock down a pound or two to get out of that plateau. And then after I do my caloric you know up my caloric intake and then i will go back down to my calorie deficit you know just stay within your normal intake and uh, don't go up or down and just kind of stick right there with the normal intake that you would normally do say your calories are 1300 calories try to stick within those calories so that way your body can adjust to the calorie deficit and uh, another thing that I like to do is exercise now I know when you are in a health journey to weight loss you're going to exercise now even though you exercise you're still going to find yourself in a plateau now most people say well I'm not exercising enough that's not the case you are exercising too much so, if you find yourself in a plateau and you are exercising, you might want to cut back on your exercises. So, I'm not saying that to that you should stop exercising. Maybe switch it up a bit and stop doing this one so much and start doing something else. Say, for instance, your cardio. Your cardio, cardio, cardio. You're getting that heart going and it's just not working for you. You need to incorporate something else within your exercise regimen that's going to help break you out of that plateau. So if I'm doing cardio and I find myself getting into a plateau, I'm going to switch up my workout routine. Now what I mean by this is I'm going to do something like yoga, Pilates, um, weight training, exercise bike, walking, running, just something in there that's going to shock my body and say, hey, we need to stop. 
with this plateau and start losing weight again. So what you're going to do is um, when you find yourself in that plateau and you're doing cardio or if you're doing yoga, switch it up. And you can do this for just a couple of weeks just until you break out of your plateau. And then you can go back into your normal exercise routine. So say for instance, I'm doing yoga and I hit a plateau. I'm going to still do my yoga, but I'm going to incorporate cardio with my yoga. Um, or vice versa, if I'm doing cardio, I'm going to incorporate yoga or Pilates or something else that's going to shock my body and uh, switch it up a bit and it's going to help me break out of that plateau. So you're probably exercising too much if you're noticing your body is in a plateau and you are still exercising cut down on your exercises and uh, switch it up a bit and your body will break out of that plateau and uh, start losing weight so keep that in mind another thing that i like to do is intermittent fasting now what intermittent fasting is is you fast for a certain amount of time and then you eat within a certain amount of time during your day. So for me, for instance, I do a 16-8 fast. And what a 16-8 fast is, is I fast for 16 hours and I eat within an 8 hour window. So I will stop eating at 7 o'clock and I will start eating somewhere between 11 and 1. So, and whatever time I start eating is I, when I start eating, say for instance at 12, I will stop eating at 8. If I start eating at 1, I will stop eating at 9. So, just remember to fast for 16 hours and eat within that 8 hour window so that way your body can have time to digest what you're eating. If you are constantly eating um, snacks and dinners and lunches and breakfasts, your body does not have time to digest what you're putting in your body. So, just keep in mind when you eat breakfast, wait a few hours before you eat lunch. If you eat a high fat, low carb meal, you're going to be fuller for longer. So keep that in mind. Um, if you do see like my breakfast in the morning are eggs and bacon or eggs and sausage and uh, I may throw in some avocado in there if I have an avocado but normally that's what I eat and it keeps me full for a long long time now a lot of people say well how can you get full on eggs and bacon it's the fat it's the fat that you cook your eggs in. It's the fat from the bacon. So what I do is I, when I cook my bacon, I keep the bacon fat. I put it in a little jar, I let it cool down, and I just put it in the refrigerator. So when I cook my eggs, I cook my eggs in bacon fat or butter. Do not use margarine. Margarine is not butter. Margarine is oil. It's flavored with butter flavor so it's not butter make sure you get real butter um, do bacon fat you can do butter whichever you prefer um, just cook that in there and then have your bacon on the side so the fats in your meal are going to keep you full for longer so keep that in mind and uh, you won't have a problem with breaking a, uh, a plateau if you eat correctly and give your body time to digest your food. So your body takes longer than just two hours, three hours to digest what, what you're putting in there, especially if you're eating a very high fat meal is going to digest slower so you're full so if you're eating a high carb meal it's going to go in there it's going to digest a lot faster and you're just going to be hungry in 30 minutes that's not what we want we want to eat to live 
not live to eat so keep that in mind try an intermittent fasting work your way up to a 16 8 hour fast or longer i've seen people fast for 48 hours so just keep that in mind another thing that i like to do is called a reboot now i like to do reboots at the beginning of every month now you don't have to do them every month you can do them every few months whatever fits into your lifestyle do that um Prove It has a great reboot system. I will leave the link to my website down there and you can go check out that reboot system. It's a very, very great system to do a reboot, a reboot with. So, um, but what I like to do is, it's called a reboot. I do it every single month. Um, it starts on the 13th, but you can do it whenever you, you want. So, what comes in a reboot is a ketones and broth and um, a little mineral pack. Um, it's called Mitoplex. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to drink ketones in the morning and bone broth for um, your dinner, lunch, breakfast times. And uh, it's just going to make your body feel full and you're going to let your body clean out all of that bad gunk that's left in there so and it's a 60 hour reboot so it gives your body plenty plenty of time to kick out all of that bad stuff and get your body situated to start losing more weight okay but if you don't want to buy the prove it ketones which i do recommend you do um, you can just do a normal reboot at home. You can go and you can purchase a, any type of bone broth. I always keep bone broths in my pantry. So whenever I do this, I can do them after my reboot every month um, from Prove It. And I can just do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to drink water with salt in the morning um, pink salt celtic salt or redmond's real salt just put just a little pinch in there you don't need much it does not need to be tasting like pure salt just fill your glass up with water put your pinch of salt in there stir it up drink that and for breakfast you are going to drink bone broth now you i drink one cup of bone broth for breakfast and then I will pretty much stay full-ish. I will be full-ish till lunch. And then I will have my second bone broth, um, which is usually another cup of bone broth. And then I will pretty much stay full-ish until dinner. Now with dinner, you're going to have your bone broth and your ketones. So you're going to get really full from those that bone broth and those ketones so you're going to be fine for the rest of the night now you can do this however long that you like I don't recommend going over 60 hours with this um, some of you that I have seen have but I personally don't recommend doing that um, this is just for me but you do you boo um, just try that and it will help get that gunk out and you will restart your body into losing weight so plus it will give you so much more clarity and focus you will feel so much better after you do a reboot but I do recommend um, doing the prove a ketone reboot I will leave that link right down below if you're interested and you can go check that out and another thing which goes back to my breakfast lunch and dinner thing that I was talking about earlier and it's is only using good fats now a lot of you will go to the store and you will see butter but you, what you don't know is not all butter is created equal no so what you're going to look for is cream in your butter don't look for oils or anything like that. Butter only has just one or two ingredients. 
which is pretty much cream or salt. So, um, only get real butter. Kerrygold has really good butter. You can do the Irish roll butter. Um, they have really good butter. Um, and it's made from either cows or sheep. Um, you can do the challenge butter. The challenge butter is really good and I, I use that um, because there's nothing in the ingredients except for cream, milk, and salt. So, Or if you have a local dairy somewhere, you can go check them out and uh, ask them if they have any fresh butter. So make sure you're using butter and not margarine. Margarine is just full of salts, sugars, spices, um, bad, bad oils like canola oil and soybean oil. You don't want those, so make sure you get butter. And don't use oils like canola oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil, safflower, safflower seed oil. Make sure you use olive oil, coconut oil, or avocado oil. Another thing that I like to do is called a fasted workout. Now when I get up in the morning, I do not eat right off the bat because I can't. It makes me sick. I cannot eat right when I get up. So what I do is I get up, I get my workout gear on, I chug my water, and I do a workout before I ever eat. Um, this is between 6.30 and 8 o'clock in the morning. I will do my fasted workout. And fasted workout helps burn that fat faster out of your body so try a fasted workout and it will sh it should help you break out of that plateau so fasting workouts are great now if you don't want to do a fasted workout um, that's fine you can do your workout in the afternoon but try a fasted workout first thing in the morning and you will feel great now after you do your workout you're going to want to put on protein so do your eggs do your bacon do your fat okay because your body needs fat and protein to properly recover from a workout so keep that in mind and another little thing that i like to do is called a contrast shower now what a contrast shower is is hot to cold okay after i get done say for instance I'm in the, you know, I'm in the shower. I've already done my whole get up, washed my hair, face, body, everything like that. I will do a contrast shower. I will start off with hot water because normally that's what you have on in the shower. And I will do that for one minute. And then I will go to cold water. Now you don't have to have it ice cold, but you do want to have it cold. And you will sit in that for one minute. Now you will go back and forth for five minutes um, with the hot and cold. So it's hot, cold, hot, cold, hot. Or you can end on cold. I normally end on cold because it takes your body a little bit longer to heat back up. So do your hot for one minute, your cold for one minute, hot for one minute, cold for one minute, hot for one minute, cold for one minute, and finish with cold water. And then that will close your pores and uh, you can then get out of the shower and do your routine and it's going to take a while for your body to heat back up and what it's doing is burning the brown fat in your body um, so it goes deeper than the regular fat and it, go, it targets that brown fat into that's in your body and it's going to burn that and it's going to turn your regular fat into brown fat so it is more easily acceptable to burn. So keep that in mind and try a contrast shower and uh, you won't regret it. It's going to be a pain in the butt at first until you get used to it, but um, it really does help. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So I hope you learned something from this video and I hope I gave you some tips and tricks that you can try. Um, so you can break out of your plateau. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will answer them as quickly as I can. And if you've not yet subscribed, hit that little red subscribe button down below and hit that like button. And don't forget to tick that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. 
I upload new videos every single week. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.